October 18th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapters 143 and 144 from the Old Testament. O Lord, hear my prayer. Pay attention to my plea for help. Because of your faithfulness and justice, answer me. Do not sit in judgment on your servant, for no one alive is innocent before me. Certainly my enemies chase me. They smash me into the ground. They force me to live in dark regions, like those who have been dead for ages. My strength leaves me. I am absolutely shocked. I recall the old days. I meditate on all you have done. I reflect on your accomplishments. I spread my hands out to you in prayer. My soul thirsts for you in a parched land. Answer me quickly, Lord. My strength is fading. Do not reject me, or I will join those descending into the grave. May I hear about your loyal love in the morning, for I trust in you. Show me the way I should go, because I long for you. Rescue me from my enemies, O Lord. I run to you for protection. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. May your kind presence lead me into a level land. O Lord, for the sake of your reputation, revive me. Because of your justice, rescue me from trouble. As a demonstration of your loyal love, destroy my enemies. Annihilate all who threaten my life, for I am your servant. The Lord, my protector, deserves praise. The one who trains my hands for battle and my fingers for war. Who loves me and is my stronghold, my refuge and my deliverer. My shield and the one in whom I take shelter who makes nations submit to me. O oh Lord, of what importance is the human race that you should notice them? Of what importance is mankind that you should be concerned about them? People are like vapor, their day is like a shadow that disappears. O oh Lord, make the sky sink and come down, touch the mountains and make them smolder. Hurl lightning bolts and scatter them, shoot your arrows and rout them. Reach down from above. Grab me and rescue me from the surging water, from the power of foreigners who speak lies and make false promises. O oh God, I will sing a new song to you, accompanied by a ten-string instrument. I will sing praises to you. The one who delivers kings and rescued David, his servant, from a deadly sword. Grab me and rescue me from the power of foreigners who speak lies and make false promises. Then our sons will be like plants that quickly grow to full size. Our daughters will be like corner pillars, carved like those in a palace. Our storehouses will be full, providing all kinds of food. Our sheep will multiply by the thousands and fill our pastures. Our cattle will be weighted down with produce. No one will break through our walls. No one will be taken captive. And there will be no terrified cries in our city squares. How blessed are the people who experience these things. How blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. God, sometimes we get caught up in the whirlwind of the current drama. We feel like what is happening in our five minutes of pain, even though it might be five days or five months or five years, that that then becomes our sole focus for our life. Um, I always equate it to a time that I spent in Florida. I was down there when Hurricane Andrew hit and not only was I down there when Hurricane Andrew hit, but as you know, I was right dead center in the middle of, of all of that disaster. And what was fascinating to me uh, as we did relief work uh, the following months afterwards is people had this uh, destruction mindset that because they were in the midst of all of this destruction that Hurricane Andrew had caused and granted it was really bad most of them didn't have houses possessions cars uh, running water electricity ways to feed their children uh, it was really bad but what was amazing to me is literally 15 minutes north of them 15 minutes north there was running water, electricity, food, uh, pretty much anything that they could want. But because they were in the midst of this destruction, 
their mind wouldn't allow them, their hearts and their actions wouldn't allow them to see beyond that. In every natural disaster since then I've been in, I've seen the same phenomenon happen where people can't get out of that mindset. They can't see beyond, to see the opportunities beyond that. Uh, and what's really hard to watch is they start to spiral down in the midst of that drama. And again, I agree, it's really bad. It's really hard to do relief efforts uh, when those type of disasters strike because they are so devastating. Everything that was important to you is now gone. Uh, another good reason to not have faith in the things of the world. But people start to spiral down as they get caught up into this. But I see that in my own life, that when things happen, let's say somebody says something the wrong way to me, or I, I lose a, a relationship, or I have financial I, there's a plethora of things that we could add to that list right we tend to get caught up in that swirling effect that we can't see past what is happening in our own lives to see uh, anything that you have done in the past and so I love this psalm where he says I recall the old days I meditate on all you have done I reflect on your accomplishments he's holding on his strength is coming from the fact of your consistency your amazing sovereign power that has always shown up in his life and he's looking back on his life and seeing all of those pieces and knowing that whatever he's going through is going to fall underneath that same grace that same mercy that same kindness that same love uh, that you've always showed him and you know we could even go back further than our lives ever since we had stories about people that were yours uh, we've seen that same consistency with you so god for for everyone who is listening today, who is going through stirring up, who is consumed in a swirling of drama in whatever situation happens to be going on, I do pray for that drama. But more importantly, I pray for them to be able to lift themselves up and out of that drama and remind themselves of all the things that you have done for them in the past, that you've always been there, that you've never left them, that you've always loved them, you've always shown them grace. And you've always come in and taken care of the situation, perhaps not in the way that we want you to, <laughs> but always in a way that is better for us. God, allow us to hold on to our past, not in the sense that we can't move forward, but in the sense of realizing the consistency of your amazing sovereign character. God, allow those pieces of our memory and of our heart Allow those to strengthen us where we're at right now. And more importantly, allow us to move forward out of this swirling drama that, that we're currently in. Oh, things of this world. In your son's name I pray. Amen.